This is ESP in sports science. Now, for the physics of shooting in basketball, before the basketball can leave his shooter's hands, he pulls his arms and wrists back to increase potential energy. Once he extends his arm, the basketball leaves his hands and the potential energy turns to kinetic energy. The sum of these two energies, kinetic and potential, turns into mechanical energy. The ball starts to accelerate at to a velocity that will reach the basket. The velocity is the combined speed and distance, which in this case is up and forward. However, the ball also has to fight the gravity that's forcing it down, as well as air friction, which is slowing it down. The shooter compensates for this by aiming a little higher so the ball will travel the arc and into the basket. Now that's the idea, anyways, but Reg, he missed the ball. Don't miss on camera, Reg! Now, since he missed the ball, the ball hit the rim of the basket and didn't go in. When the ball hit the rim, it caused friction, which slowed the ball down, sent added a little bit of heat, and sent back to Reg, and the gravity pulls it down, and we go. As you can see, Reg is dribbling the ball on the court. But, what are the physics of dribbling, you may ask? Well, when the ball touches his fingertips, the potential energy is being stored because the moment his fingertips push downward on the ball, the ball will release kinetic energy. The ball will hit the floor, and of course, there is different ways to dribble the ball. Like how Reg is dribbling hand to hand, hand to another hand, but the velocity of the ball will still remain the same.